our region's business, improving our economy, creating jobs, and strengthening communities. Innovation, collaboration, transformation, and the people making it happen. Join us as we take a closer look at our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, just in time for Super Bowl Sunday, a local startup that's invented a second skull to help prevent head injuries. Plus, life after football, Will Allen's new career investing in energy startups. But first, Black Tech Nation. It's the brainchild of a transplant to our region who came here to learn coding and has gone on to create a community. Black Tech Nation kicked off last month with a reception at Carnegie Mellon University, appropriately enough in the Gates-Hillman complex. African-American professionals in tech turned out and so did many of our region's movers and shakers who've been engineering the growth of a next generation economy here. Kalani Cook is weaving it all together. She's the founder of Black Tech Nation. Welcome, good to have you. Thank you so much for having me. This is such an honor. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, terrific to see what you're doing here in our Pittsburgh. You're not from here, right? So what brought you here to our region? It's kind of a crazy story. Um, I actually moved here from Minot, North Dakota. Minot, North yes. Dakota. Okay. <laughs> yes. um, but I'm originally from Chicago. I attended Howard University in D.C., lived in New York and L.A., so I've been to big cities. However, um, I came from Minot because I was there helping my sister open um, her third location for one of her businesses. She does, like, a, a food delivery service business okay. in North Dakota. So an entrepreneurial bent seems yeah, to run in the family a little does, bit, right? It does, yeah. um, And one of her mentors who actually works as the uh, global marketing VP for Microsoft, uh, he asked what I was doing up there with her, and she was kind of explaining my story. I was in, like, a transition of sorts. I was a high school substitute teacher, and I wanted to just, like, kind of go to school and try something new. And he said, well, actually tell her to stop everything and learn to code okay. because... Coding and tech is literally like one of the most um, sought after positions in, in the world right now. Leave it to somebody from Microsoft. To exactly. Give that word of, advice, of course, right? exactly. <laughs> and so I had never thought of doing computers coding at all ever. I didn't even really know what it did, what it was. Um, but my sister said, you should give this a try, you know, just, just look into it. So I Googled, I Googled to see if there were like any programs. And oddly enough, I found Academy Pittsburgh, which is a coding program specifically geared towards females and minorities to learn how to code and get into the tech industry. Oh my gosh. And this program run by um, a guy named Josh Lucas who runs Work Hard Pittsburgh and um, John Lang who runs um, uh, looking for a group. It's a gaming gaming uh, organization out of Brookline. They created this boot camp. I was in the first class. I literally called them and said, do you have any more like spaces for me? And they said, hey, if you can get here, you can be in it. Okay. And I think I moved from North Dakota like two weeks later and just... Signed on. Here, I signed logged up. on, right? <laughs> yeah. Really logged on. Great. So, yeah. so how Great long analogy. was it? How long was the, um, the boot so camp? So the entire boot camp, it's a 12-week course. Yeah. We code 9 to 5 every day, but more like... 60 hours a week instead of 40 because you're coding all the time and we learn everything from back end to front end which basically means every language you need to know to build an app or a website mm -hmm. um, and it's very intense it, it there were like 17 of us and I'm sure the majority of us cried I know I did at one point um, wow. because it was just a lot to learn and just to reprogram your brain to think like a computer uh, but I, su I succeeded I graduated and now here we are and, and were you able to get get a job and get work yeah, I mean, you do all that yeah, skill so and you go through that intensity yeah. the goal of it is to and I think what they wanted to do was in this region create opportunities for people minorities and females and people who are usually underrepresented in the tech industry create these job opportunities in the region for us and so after the program ended they worked really hard with us to try to get us placement job placements um, I because I'm a, I love to network and talk to people and meet people. Um, I actually met a girl at a, at Abstractions, which was a, a tech conference here, okay. recently or last year, uh, who worked for the Washington Post, and we got to talking. Told her I graduated from this boot camp. She said, you know, we're looking for an engineer, and so 
Literally two months after the boot camp, I was a software developer for the Washington Post. Oh, is that insane? Yeah. And, and so, so you're now working in this industry. You get through your boot camp. I yes. take it because you founded this organization. You did not see a whole lot of folks like you exactly. in this industry. Exactly. So this organization was, I call it a beautiful accident because it was not what my intention was coming here. I wanted to be a software developer, and that was it. Just get a job, do well in my industry, and that was it. But I saw, um, a, like you said, a need that was there where I'm in these rooms, I'm like with all these startup founders and in these tech spaces and at these conferences and I'm like I am really the only African American woman in these spaces sure. and if not definitely the only African American woman but usually the only African American and if there were other African Americans they were men mm -hmm. um, and very few of them so I'm like what's going on here like I know tech has like these diversity issues but is this like a Pittsburgh thing is it a like national thing so um, I had I held an event last year for inclusive innovation week which is a week that the Pittsburgh government holds sure. um, to you know just talk about inclusion in every sector in Pittsburgh and so I had an event at the shop in Homewood uh, called Where's Black Tech in Pittsburgh just to kind of like start the conversation just see if it's like you know I know Mayor Peduto talks about diversity and like having a city for all but I wasn't seeing like these people yeah, are, are they really here like, or not really right where, where is everybody and sure, so yeah. I just said Let, let's just do a little roundtable discussion and honestly the discussion just went it, it far exceeded my expectations we had over 80 people come I had no idea that many people would come um, there was such a from the Pittsburgh tech community, the black community, the entrepreneur community, um, the government. I had four of the city council members come. It was just an amazing event. Amazing. So cool. So, uh -huh. and so th thus Black Tech Nation was born. If somebody yes. wants to get involved and plug yes. in, how do they find you? Absolutely. So the website is blacktechnation.com. Um, we have, we're on Instagram and Twitter. So Instagram is at Black Tech Nation. And in, uh, I'm sorry, Twitter is at Black Tech Nation. And Instagram is at black.tech.nation. Oh, okay, Lonnie Cook. Congratulations. <laughs> what a cool you. thing. So Great Thank to have you so here much. in our region. I appreciate Best of it. luck. Thanks for having success. me. Sure. Next up, from Heinz Field to investments in energy opportunities, we'll find out what life is like after football for retired Pittsburgh Steeler Will Allen. Stay with us.